okay students uh, we will start from uh, where uh, start from where we stopped yesterday last class so we were talking about the responsivity and we will do some numerical problems today regarding this photodiode uh, i will share the slides once again okay yeah so we were talking about the responsivity responsivity is the photo dictator relates the electrical current that is photo current flowing through the device corresponding to the optical power incident on it okay uh, so the in uh, notation we can write r is the responsivity and uh, you can see ip is the photo current power is the photo uh, light power incident on the photo dictator okay so ampere per watt so uh, expanded here uh, photo diode current in ampere divided by incident light power in watt so a uh, current in ampere and incident light power in watt okay so ip the photo current is uh, uh, equal to the quanta efficiency a new word is coming uh, quanta efficiency uh, in the charge of one electron in the number of photons okay so these uh, quantities contribute the uh, photo current ip uh, quanta efficiency uh, so uh, we can write quanta efficiency eta into in the charge of one photon in the number of photon number of photons is equal to total photon energy divided by photon individual photon energy total uh, energy by individual energy is equal to number of photons okay so the unit of current is ampere here uh, h is coming that is planck's constant the value is 6.63 into 10 power uh, that minus 34 joule second and it is a quanta efficiency quanta efficiency i will explain as suppose that uh, all the electrons all the photons um, incident on this um, photo dictator will not make uh, electron hole pairs that means photo current right suppose uh, 1000 uh, incident photons are there only 900 uh, the these photons are making electron hole pairs because rest of the photons are moving uh, falling uh, away from this uh, active area i mean the uh, depletion area okay so substitute the value of h is a constant and is nu is equal to frequency that is equal to c by lambda right so c is uh, velocity of light 3 into 10 power 8 uh, so substituting these values you will get r is equal to eta lambda into 1.24 div into that is the unit is ampere per watt so one important thing you have to remember always remember that r is this is in micro or uh, um, uh, micrometer so because uh, lambda here is in micrometer so normally lambda is given in nanometer that is 1550 nanometer or 1300 nanometer or 850 nanometer you have it convert back to micrometer uh, okay so 1550 nanometer you should uh, write 1.55 here in this equation so here you can see that uh, this r responsivity is directly proportional to the quanta efficiency and uh, the lambda okay we will answer. So quantum efficiency is explaining here. The dictator is not capable of collecting all the photons and convert them to electron hole pairs. The number of electrons produced per incident photon is uh, defined as the quantum efficiency. So I am showing here number of electrons produced. Quantum efficiency eta is equal to number of electrons produced uh, by number of incident photons. So I am showing some figure here. So this is a photo dictator. You uh, uh, consider this is a depletion region. Uh, where the uh, photons are coming so n number of photons are, photons are coming and uh, these red arrows show that that photons are not incident on this depletion active area and here also the red arrows so these blue arrows are actually incident on this uh, uh, depletion area and makes uh, electron and gold pairs that gives the photo current okay for example i already explained the example uh, number of incident photon is equal to 1000 and uh, only 900 of uh, uh, these photons are incident on this depletion area and makes electrons. So 900 electrons are made out of uh, 10,000 incident uh, photons. Then in this case, the efficiency is equal to 0.9. So that is equal to, uh, we can explain this eta is equal to I by Q, right? I is a total current, Q is a charge. So I by Q is the number of electrons, right? Similarly, P0 is a uh, total power incident and H mu is the energy of uh, uh, one photon. So total power by individual photon energy is equal to number of photons. Okay. Uh, so here is part of uh, uh, the power and this is, um, uh, uh, you will say it is energy. 
so uh, by taking the i in ampere q in coulomb and taking you will get eta is equal to a dimensionless quantity okay because uh, it is a efficiency so using the expression here we already uh, our responsibility is equal to i by po and q uh, this no we know this equation uh, q into you know, eta into q by hv is a responsibility you substitute these values and you will be getting this value so uh, you can see that um, uh, ideal photo detector uh, eta is equal to 1 that means uh, in our example 1000 photons are making uh, producing 1000 electrons in that case uh, this is equal to 1 1 into 100 is equal to 100 percent efficiency that may not be possible always so uh, the efficiency we will uh, while could be going through numerical problems you can see uh, the efficiency uh, of uh, normal photodiodes okay so let's continue some numerical problem. The photodiode has a first numerical problem. A photodiode has a responsibility of 5 ampere per watt at 850 nanometer. Find the efficiency of the detector. So it's a one line problem. So numerical problems carry 7 to uh, uh, 10 mark always, uh, even though it is a single line or double line or, or many lines uh, paragraph program, problem. You must understand carefully what the question is, okay? Then uh, take down uh, the, uh, uh, the given parameters. Here, response R is given 0.5 ampere per watt, and the wavelength of operation is 850 nanometer. Okay, so efficiency of the detector. So ampere per watt, 0.5 ampere generated every watt. So you have watt, and the incident power is not given here. So you have to consider. Uh, so P is equal to one watt. That is a catching point here. So don't forget. Uh, if uh, similarly in question, suppose some of the uh, parameter is not given, you have to assume that. But here uh, implicitly it is given as uh, one watt because 0.5 ampere generated per watt. That means 0.5 ampere we will use throughout and one watt is the incident power. So we can find number of photons uh, divided by P is equal to H P by H mu. Mu because lambda is given frequency is not given here we can find uh, this mu by c by lambda c is the velocity of light so h is constant c is constant lambda is given and p is given so then we can find number of uh, photon is equal to 4.28 into 10 raised to 18 okay so as a current generated is 0.5 ampere so this much uh, photons are generated as the current generated is 0.5 ampere from one watt power so the efficiency equal to number of electrons per photon. So total number of photons is this much. And uh, total current is given. We know the charge of uh, electron. So that is equal to 0.5 ampere divided by charge of one electron is equal to 1.6 into 10 raised to minus 19 divided by uh, number of photons, total number of photons. So that the efficiency you are getting 0 0.73, okay? So, uh, similar problem you can expect in university exam as well. So, PN tension detector. So, another problem I am giving, uh, similar problem. Uh, so, a PN tension has a 50% efficiency at 900 nanometer. What is the responsibility? So, try to do this one. If you are coming across any doubt, contact me through email or come to my office or uh, contact through mobile phone. I will uh, make you comfortable. Okay. I am stopping at this point. We will continue with the more numerical problems in the coming sessions. Okay, thank you.